guys, what's up? It's Devin Howard. I'm here to give you some tips on how to save money on your bills every single month. For more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get into it right now. All right, so everyone has monthly bills that must be paid. And while most of it is for products and services that, you know, really can't be eliminated, the associated costs can often be lowered. It's time to sit down, look over your finances, and figure out how to save some money. You need to decide which bills you cannot avoid and which can be reduced. Sometimes small numbers can really add up to a big sum. So check out our list right now of the different practical ways to save money on your bills every month. All right, so let's talk about our utility bills first. So there are some really easy ways to save on your energy bill without cutting off the power to your house. Energy efficiency technology has improved tremendously in the last few years and using innovative techniques and upgrading your home to better energy efficient products can help reduce your spending on monthly energy bills for years to come. So let's talk about light bulbs. The light bulb aisle at your local home improvement store can be a great place to start saving. Choosing LEDs or CFLs over traditional bulbs to lower your daily watt usage and your electricity bill. These light bulbs typically last 10 times longer and consume less energy than regular bulbs. A great tip to buying new bulbs, use the lumens number to compare bulbs, not the equivalent wattages. Lumens show the actual amount of light the bulb will put out. Switching out just the most used lights in your house will lower your bills noticeably. Smart thermostat heating and cooling your home is also a huge expense, but we'd be really uncomfortable without this luxury, right? Investing into a programmable thermostat can help cut costs, especially during times when no one is at home. During summer months, you can raise the temperature when you're at work, asleep, or on vacation, and don't need the climate quite as cool. You can also set it to start cooling before you return home for a comfortable temperature upon your arrival. And that's really nice, isn't it? The Nest Learning Thermostat goes a step further by learning your daily routines and programming itself to lower or raise the temperature as needed. This initial $200 investment will pay for itself in less than two years, so don't be afraid by that upfront money. Also, unplugging electrical devices is a great way to save money. All plugged-in devices constantly use electricity, even when they're not in use, leading to a phantom charge that increases on your bill. The most obvious thing to do is unplug the devices that don't get frequent use, like maybe your toaster or something like that. While this is simple with maybe hair dryers and irons, realistically there are still many electronic items that stay plugged in at all times. Power strips and timers can help alleviate some of those phantom charges from accumulating. Power strips have a single on-off switch, so you can easily turn off multiple devices without having to flip multiple switches. Because really, who has time for that? Timers can even be more effective, as you can set them to automatically turn off at night or while you're on vacation, thus cutting out all the electricity to anything plugged in. Another way to save money is by turning down the hot water heater. So lowering the temperature on your hot water heater by just 10% can result in an average 14% reduction in energy costs. Most people's hot water heaters are set much higher than they're needed or even used inside of the home. So this will be a really small change that homeowners won't even notice until their bill arrives and then when that bill comes, trust me, you'll be happy about it. Water heater blankets are another option to keep the heat from escaping out of your water heater and reducing the amount of energy lost. Insulating your water heater will pay for itself within a year. You can also check out your local utility company to see if they offer any incentives or rebates for water heater blankets. The next way to save money on your energy bills every month is by sealing your home. Both warm and cold air can escape out of windows and doors, which can increase your bill substantially as you pay more to just keep the temperature comfortable inside your house. Weather stripping and caulking windows and doors is the first step to guarding against drafts. The U.S. Department of Energy offers a complete guide if you really want to tackle this issue and lower your bills. Comparing the numbers on your utility bill to the actual readout on your meter is important to do from time to time. If the meter shows a lower amount, you may be being overcharged. 
If that's the case, contact your utility company right away to fix the issue. All right, everybody, I hope you found those money-saving tips to be helpful. They'll cut down your bills each month and the energy that you use, and that's a really great thing for everybody, right? If you like this video and you want more just like this, go ahead and click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.